Hi everyone, this is Mr. Robinson. Today we're gonna to be learning how to make fraction strips. This is a fun hands-on way to explore fractions um, and in particular, uh, it's a great way to learn about equivalent fractions. So these are the fraction strips that you'll be making. Yours will look something like this. Uh, you do need to get a few things ready before you get started. Uh, so you'll need two pieces of paper that are the same size. I just used um, plain white printer paper. Make sure you turn them going the length ways. Um, this is kind of the, called the landscape view. Um, and also you'll need a pencil, a marker. I grabbed my purple marker because it's my favorite color. Um, you don't necessarily have to have scissors. I'm gonna show you a trick that makes it a little bit easier to cut your, your strips equally. Um, and then you can color in your strips if you want. It does make it a little more fun and uh, I don't know, a little more visually appealing to work with. So you can color them in if you want. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we're gonna, going to take our paper and we're going to fold it in half as evenly as we possibly can. This is really important that we are being really precise with our folding. Okay, so we'll make a nice crease and then we're going to fold that in half again match up your corners use your thumbs kind of press things down and let them fold it you can open it up and you'll see you have four equal pieces with your first sheet you set that aside and do that again with your second piece of paper so we fold that in half with your fingernails make a nice crease fold it again Really make sure you're you're matching up those corners so that you've got everything lined up exact as, as precisely as you can. It's not going to be perfect, but we want to try to make sure all of our pieces are equal. That's really, really important when we're working with fractions. Okay, so now we have two sheets that are folded into fours. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to get these all separated so and then we'll, we'll start talking about fractions after we get this part done so what I'm doing instead of using scissors you see I'm just using my fingernails to make that crease and I'm gonna, I'm going to fold it back over again as well so I have a really good crease and then I like to just kind of make a little tear and then I go like this carefully and I've got my first fraction strip so now we need to do that with all of them so that's the first step so you can pause the video here and come back and see what we do next because what you need to do now is you need to get all of those strips cut or torn into the different sections okay so I am now finished tearing all of my pieces into equal strips. Um, I'm going to start labeling. This, I'm gonna take one piece. This is going to be my one whole piece. So I'm going to label this one whole. Okay, so one whole. So that's gonna stay at the top. Uh, the next one that I'm gonna do I'm going to do my halves. So I'm going to take my whole piece and I'm going to just fold that in half. Make sure you're being very careful. A little crease. And now I have two halves. Okay, so I'm going to label this one out of two, one half. And this side is another one half, or another one part of the whole, one out of half. One half. And then the next I'm going to make one fourth. So I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to fold that in half again. So now I have that same size piece as the one whole. It's the same as the two halves, but I've got one, two, three, four sections. So I'm going to label these all one fourth. 
or one quarter is another way we call this fraction. Is one fourth. So you can t you can see when we line these up that one fourth and another fourth make one half. We also call that two fourths, and that's that would be three fourths. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to make. We take a look at our one over here. This is what we're doing next. This is our eighths. So we're going to take our strip, fold it in half again. Then we're going to make our fourths. So we're going to go a little bit further with this one. I'm going to put it down so I can get a good crease. And make sure you're folding that up really, really evenly. And you can open it up. You should see that you have eight equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to go ahead and label this one eighth. And then this is one eighth. One eighth. Before I go any further, we need to make sure that we are drawing some lines in here. You can use a ruler if you find it hard to draw a really straight line. We want to show that separation here where our little creases are so you can see the strips a little bit better. One hole. I've got my halves, my quarters, and I've got my eighths. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this strip into thirds. So this is tricky because of the folding that's involved. So there is kind of a, a trick to this. So we're gonna make kind of like a little sandwich here. It's hard to see, but we're gonna fold it. It almost kind of comes in like this and like this because we want to get it into three equal parts. It makes it like almost like a little sandwich. All right. So that's a third. If you open that up, we should have three equal sections. And we will label these. So we've got one out of three parts. This is another third, one third, one out of three. Okay, let me leave that there. And the next one, we're going to make one, we're gonna make uh, a strip uh, that is divided into six sections. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did here, but we're gonna go a little bit further. So we're, make, we're first going to fold our strips into thirds, okay? And then we're going to fold that in half. And open it up. And you should have six equal strips. Okay, so six, one, six, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's one six. One line. There's another one six. Another one six. One out of six. One out of six. This is one out of six. And another one out of six. Okay. Now the next one. This one's probably the trickiest. So you will have one left over just because the last one is really, really hard to fold and it's not as common. Okay, so the next one is one twelfth. So we're gonna make, sorry, we're going to fold our strip into thirds first. Everybody see that? That's, this is the hardest one. So fold it into thirds. 
try to make it as even as you can. It is a little tricky. Okay. And then fold that in half. And that will give you uh, six sections. So we're, we're going to go even further and we're going to fold that in half again. And we open that up. Can you guess how many sections there will be? You see a pattern here? There should be 12 sections. Let's double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, yours may not be as perfect, like mine's not perfect, but it's close enough for us to kind of get the idea. A little trickier as we get into the smaller ones. So one twelfth, one twelfth. Um, okay, so the if you were to do that again and then fold it even further, you would get one that looks like this. But we're we're not going to make you guys make the, that one unless you really really want to. Um, the ones that we're making that we've made that I've shown you are the most common fractions that you'll be asked to work with, especially in grade four and five. Okay, so your next job is to color these in. So let's just take a look here. Here's our one whole, one half, one quarters, our eighths, and then our thirds six and our twelfths okay so you can see as you're when you're all done how useful this could be if you were asked to find a fraction that is equal to uh, two-fourths for example so let's find our fourths we're over here so here's one fourth here's two-fourths okay we got two and we are going to if you line that up you can see that a half is the same as the same size as two-fourths also if we look at our eighth strip we've also got one two three four four eighths it's the same as two-fourths which is actually the same as a half so now that you're done making all of your fraction strips, you can go ahead and color them all in with a pencil crayon if you'd like. It does make it a little easier to, uh, to kind of play around with them. Um, so hopefully this will be very helpful for you. Um, we will have a, a, an equivalent fraction activity for you to work on tomorrow. So hopefully you can get your strips made by then. Uh, we will also have a printable fraction strip sheet that will be a really good reference for you to have.